Vaccines and the Immune Response How Vaccines Work Influenza vaccines are able to trigger an immune response by mimicking viral infection. They are usually manufactured using inactivated or killed virus particles taken from various circulating influenza strains. Inactive fractioned viral components contain the subvirion particles hemagglutinin, HA, and neuraminidase, NA. In Canada, influenza vaccines are administered via intramuscular injection. These fractioned particles containing the foreign antigens hemagglutinin and uraminidase are released from the vaccine into the bloodstream. There, they are met with an immune response mediated by various immune cells, including macrophages, T lymphocytes or T cells, and B lymphocytes or B cells. A major mechanism of action involves macrophage phagocytosis of hemagglutinin, breaking it into smaller components. After ingestion, macrophages display the hemagglutinin antigen on their surface in combination with a specific receptor known as the major histocompatibility complex, or MHC. T cells are now able to recognize and bind foreign antigens that are associated with the MHC. Upon binding to the MHC receptor, T cells become activated and proliferate into either cytotoxic T cells, regulatory suppressor T cells, or helper T cells. Activated helper T cells express hemagglutinin receptors specific to the vaccine strand on their surface and play a major role in antibody generation and memory B cell activation. Unlike T cells, B cells are able to ingest hemagglutinin independent of the MHC. Once internalized, B cells process the hemagglutinin antigen and present it on their surface in combination with an MHC. When activated helper T cells interact with activated B cells expressing antigen MHC receptors, they begin secreting lymphokines which have several effects. Lymphokines trigger activated B-cell proliferation, which leads to either their differentiation into memory B-cells or into plasma cells. Plasma cells produce hemagglutinin antibodies specific to the strain of influenza contained in the vaccine. Memory B-cells aid in future immune response when exposed to an active influenza virus. When an infected host sneezes towards an uninfected person, the nasopharynx is exposed to aerosol droplets containing whole, live influenza virus. Once inhaled, the influenza virus attempts viral colonization of nasopharyngeal epithelial cells. Assuming that the vaccine strain matches that of the live virus, hemagglutinin antibodies block viral attachment of live influenza virus to host epithelial cells, and overall disease is either avoided or diminished in severity.